you know, people love to think that people who have success are lucky. The truth of the matter is that we make our own success. We literally make our own success. There is no such thing. We make our own luck, sorry. We do make our own luck. There is no such thing as luck, for real, all right? Luck is merely when preparation meets opportunity. But the biggest part of that preparation is the mental preparation. You have to be mentally prepared to be lucky. To be lucky uh, takes stamina, you know? To be lucky takes hard work. You know, the, the funny thing is that uh, someone made a statement, it's funny how the harder I work, the luckier I seem to get. There is no, no such thing as luck. The hard work puts you where the good luck finds you. Every time anyone who claims someone is lucky, they, have, they haven't really paid attention to how hard that person works. Okay. If you're depending on luck, you're never going to be anywhere. Because even if you are fortunate enough to get an opportunity, a lot of times people haven't worked hard enough or prepared themselves enough to be able to take advantage of said opportunity because they don't have the mindset. You know, um, <clears throat> like I said, luck is about mindset okay that opportunity that comes your way most people don't even see the opportunity because they don't have the proper mindset most of the times your luckiest times or your best opportunities happen when you're sitting on the bottom right after a downturn the problem is most people when something goes bad for them the first thing they start to think is woe is me why me okay they drop their head and the opportunities are passing because whenever you lose something, you always have to think about it. It frees you up for something. It opens you up for something. It creates a void that can be filled. Now, your training, your, your preparation will enable you to be able to see, number one, your void, and number two, the things that can fit into it. What can I do now? What are the next things? What are my opportunities? Are opportunities are always in front of you. That's what people don't realize. Opportunities are always there. It's just whether or not you're prepared to take advantage of it. Every single day we walk, we wake up. There is an opportunity for a million dollars. You know, if money is your if money is your thing, there's an opportunity to make a million dollars. The only difference is, are you prepared? Have you done everything you needed to do in order to be able to take advantage? of that opportunity. One of the biggest things that people miss when it comes down to luck is that element of persistence. You have to be consistently persistent in order to be lucky. Once again, the good the hard the hard work puts you where the good luck can find you. Consistent hard work will always produce consistent good luck. Why? Cuz you're always there. You're always swinging. You're always working. You're always putting effort and so guess what? If you're putting effort, you're always swinging, you're always there, you're always looking for opportunities. Every time opportunities come, guess what? You're there. It's almost like a fisherman who always, he's always casting his line, all right? He's always casting his line. And if you're always casting your line, your, your probabilities of hooking a fish go up exponentially than someone who casts it only when they think fish are available or casts it only when they think or when they feel good persistent consistency a lot of times even it's not even about skill sometimes it's just about persistence it's about hard work most of the people who are the most successful are not the most skilled they were just the most persistent every single story of success you find will have persistence will have people who basically made their own luck and nobody ever forgets, nobody forgets, nobody remembers, sorry, all the times that person fails. Everybody only remembers the time they actually succeeded. When you look at the levels of failure that are behind the successful people, a lot of times you'll say, wow. A lot of the times you'll say, 
you know, you a lot of a lot of times people are honest enough with themselves and say, I don't think I would have had that level of persistence. You know, one of my favorite stories is uh, even if whether you believe it or not, the Colonel Sanders, the Colonel Sanders, the Colonel Sanders story. Sorry, <clears throat> when he did his chicken demo one hundred times, one hundred times. How many times would you have paid for your own chickens, slept in your car, failed, had everyone around you tell you that you would not succeed? You know, whether or not you believe the formula was his or not, you know, that's beside the point. But he did demo it 100 times. How many times would you have demoed that recipe before you gave up? Would you have given up when you went homeless? Would you have given up on the 10th time, the 20th time? You know, 100 times. Nobody really tells the story. You know, J.K. Rollins, how many times did she fail? How many times was her uh, 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 her manuscript or whatever turned down? No one remembers that. Very few people remember the fact that Michael Jordan was cut from his, from his JV team. <laughs> Clyde Drexler, I don't know if people know who Clyde Drexler was, was cut from his high school team. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her job as an anchor in Baltimore and told her she wasn't, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't TV material. Every single person that has risen has been because they did, be, they did believe in themselves and they didn't give up. They were consistently persistent. They made their own luck. You know, People talk about, you know, that cliche, knock down seven times, get up eight. But that's what life is all about. That's what success is all about. And that's what luck is all about. So the question is, are you willing to make your own luck? Are you willing to make your own opportunities? That's the thing about working hard is as you work hard, people, people who are, 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 are truly destined to succeed, they're not waiting for people to hand them their opportunities. They work and sometimes they create their own. I can speak for that firsthand. You have to create your own opportunities. Hard work gives that to you. Because what hard work does is hard work changes your perspective. Hard work changes your levels. You go up higher levels, you have more opportunities. You have more capabilities of taking, of taking advantage of opportunities. But you'll never get that if you stay exactly where you are and wait for somebody to hand it to you. Hard work. Persistence. Persistent consistency. There is no such thing as luck. And if there is, that means you have to make your own. And you can make your luck whatever you want it to be. You know, crazy is one, one last story. This is, this is one of my favorite ones. But this guy taught me a lot about life. I remember it was a Friday night. I was watching boxing. All right. And, you, you know, it's like two o'clock in the morning. So, <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't very good boxing, but I was watching boxing anyway. <clears throat> and it was two guys boxing. And um, one guy was was like clearly better than the other guy, you know. Um, and I mean, he was beating the guy so bad. The guy who was beating his face looked like hamburger meat. It was it was horrible. It was so bad that the commentators were were now questioning the professionalism of the referee and saying that, you know, the referee should have to stop this fight. The referee, you know, uh, this guy has clearly no chance, you know. <clears throat> and honestly, I kind of agree because th this guy was basically, he was, he was just getting picked apart. But one thing that the, the guy who was getting beat, he kept throwing punches. Even when he was getting beat, he kept throwing punches. He never gave up. He kept throwing punches. He kept, I mean, he was, his head was down and he was wailing every time. And... Um, it was literally um, <clears throat> after the, I think the second commentator says, you know, I, I really believe that this referee should be brought up on, she should be sanctioned because this is ridiculous. This, this fight has been over for the last three. And when he said three, um, the guy who was beating the guy up threw a, a wicked right. And... But the entire time, the guy who was getting beat, he kept his head up the entire time. So he was always, like I said, trying. And he saw the right coming and he kind of dipped under the right and he just threw a wild punch. And if anybody's familiar with boxing, is uh, there's a punch called the Mexican liver punch. I don't know why it's the Mexican liver punch, but that's what it's called. But it's when a, when a fighter fully extends, his, flo his floating rib lifts up and it exposes 
his his liver but his floating rib is sitting right there so if we hit him on the right at the right point right but, but um right at that point the floating rib will stab him in the liver and if anybody knows anything about boxing or the liver when you get punched in the liver um it doesn't matter who you are you're gonna roll you're gonna go down in in excruciating pain for like a minute right after that you're perfectly fine but the the guy hit him with that punch and the guy went down into a pile and he's counted out. But it, it taught me a lot about <clears throat> life. Because number one, that guy could have easily just given up. His corner wanted to throw in the towel. He didn't want that. And he kept fighting. He kept fighting. And because he kept a certain level of awareness, even though when things were the worst for him, even though when it looked like he was, that like his loss was, was imminent, he kept the same level of effort and he kept swinging. He kept swinging. And he hit that guy with that Mexican liver punch. And when you look back on the history of his career, you're not gonna see the fact that he got beat the hell up that day. You're gonna see W. You're gonna see W with a knockout. That's life. That's luck. That's opportunity. That's persistence. That's consistency. And that's success. And the moment people understand that, you will understand that you'll never and you should never stop swinging. You should always keep your head up and always keep looking for your opportunities because only you are going to make your own luck and opportunity has a funny way of coming especially when you're almost on your knees when it's almost at the end that's when the best of the opportunities will come and if your eyes are open and you keep that same tenacity and keep swinging and keep swinging you too will have that w that's what it's all about all right you make your own luck